you, Kevin. Welcome to a very special episode of Terrifyingly Beautiful. <laughs> Why is it special? We're all nude. <laughs> okay. Well, it is getting warmer here. That's the good news. <laughs> no one knows that we're not. You could have gone along with it. <laughs> True. Uh, so we're back. It's yes. been a, a long, long hiatus. It's been over a month, I think. It's been well over a month. Yeah. Sorry. We've been traveling and work's been really crazy busy and hibernating yeah the weather sucked um but we're back in action yeah right um if david and kevin see their shadows it's one more week of winter how does that work oh no i don't see my shadow at all who yeah. do people still believe in that shit people do it's it's all like merchandising crap people want their like you know they're like you buy groundhog merchandise <laughs> yes really they have greeting cards and t-shirts and Ugh. other kind of marketing swag of course they do it's so <laughs> stupid it's dumb can we just and how do they pick is it how, they just to be pick fair a random... it's just about as accurate as any weatherman yeah true yeah i wish i could be that disaccurate in my job and still have a job well isn't like the farmer's almanac that was written like twenty five thousand years ago still more accurate than the current mother man i think that's a myth too yeah, okay wow Mythbusters here yeah according to the <laughs> farmer's almanac we'll be back next week we'll see <laughs> well we're hoping to get a couple of episodes published within the next couple of weeks um, um yes. travel's busy you're on vacation next week yes. yes i'm going to mexico i've never been no Mm-mm. I actually no. love Mexico, but that's that's a perfect kickoff to what stresses me out this week. But I'll, I'll um, first we'll start with our our boring stuff. Social visit our media. visit our up un, <laughs> unupdated website, terrifyingly beautiful. Is it still dot there? Com. Someone said uh, they messaged us and said it has um it was w- very well laid out. Oh, so well, thank you, whoever that was. Yeah, oh, I like that. I don't know what their. Uh, background is to know that their opinion matters but it's you keep it two clicks or less oh that's the rule of thumb oh nice yeah um twitter and uh, facebook and other things terrifyingly, terrifyingly b. b yeah yeah and then we twitter have twitter and we instagram have a, yeah. yes and we have a uh, email account too terrifyingly beautiful at gmail.com yes wow and actually my next episode is from a listener email oh really yes oh but okay, okay so here's what stressed me out this week okay um, the Southwest woman getting sucked out of the oh God, plane. I mean, everybody's talking about it. I mean, wh- I cannot wrap my head around this. Please tell me she died instantly. Well, I mean, I think if your head gets sucked out of a plane, like at 30,000 feet, going you die instantly, right? Yeah. I'm thinking it's like a neck snap situation. Oh yeah. Well, it had to be. But what, what bad luck though of the, the one seat on the plane that got impacted. I know. Oh my God. Yeah. Well, I'm flying Southwest tomorrow. I'm going to take an aisle seat. <laughs> well, that so there's that because we're so the other the other news story that stressed me out was that there was like 14 murders in in 36 hours in Cancun, and gunmen shooting at resorts from jet skis, which is kind of cool. But um, you can get that right here in South Providence. I know, I know. <laughs> but of course, you know, next week I'm leaving on a Southwest flight to Cancun, Mexico. So a double whammy. Hopefully, we have like um. What is it called when someone fills in? Understudy for Kevin <laughs> for next episode. Well, the, so I just out of curiosity, did they know what was what was the what was the reason behind the murders? Though was it like some kind of random rampage, or it was, was it like probably drugs, drug stuff? I guess. Yeah. yeah. I don't even. I don't know if it was locals or tourists, but people love to say that. Oh my gosh, there's all these murders in Mexico, and it's like, yeah, well, check out any place in the U.S. Yeah. Tune into any news station in the U.S. and say, no. sh- shut up. Yeah. Ugh. Plus, if I die, I do want someone to shoot me from a jet ski. I'm assuming <laughs> it's James Bond. <laughs> or what would be want... Mexican James Bond name? Uh, <laughs> Jose I'm not going Adamus. down there. <laughs> Bondes, Holy Jose Bondes. Jose Bondes. I like that. Yeah. Oh, we should market that. Mm-hmm. Mm. Uh, coffee mugs. Double O Siete. <laughs> <laughs> oh what stressed me out? Well, and this actually could actually um, be a great segue for for your vacation. But, um, well, you know, the warmer weather's here. Mm-hmm. And even, even though I, I eat pretty well and I work out a lot, um, I probably drink a little bit too much. I, it's I'm never really satisfied with my bathing suit body. 
It's Ugh. stressing me out. That's stressing you out? Yeah, a little bit. Listen, nobody's friggin' looking at you. Calm down. Because <laughs> everybody's too worried about what they look like in their bathing suit, oh honestly. God. Well, I told you what happened to me I went dancing with some friends who, who happened to be, you know, 20 years younger than I am, and some bitchy queen on the dance floor was like, oh, grandpa's here with his two grandkids. And I was like, are you out of your mind? And I, I stand by my comment. <laughs> I'm not that old yet. You should oh be God. stressed out that you got deodorant on your shirt. Oh, I did. Oh, I hate that too. I know. Well, you know, I just switched over. I, I was, I don't know why, but I switched over to a clear deodorant, yeah. not antiperspirant. Yeah. But um, I was sweating to death. Oh. And so I had big, big, you know, sweaty pits, you know. So I'm back to the white antiperspirant, and now I have that. No, they have the new one, the guard. clear and dry that like keeps your shirt. I'm so pissed. I, I'm really so bad with I that, too. I just noticed this. Uh, but if you take two, you supposedly take the two pieces of cloth that have it and rub it together and it gets rid of it, or you rub a dryer sheet over it. I'll give you a dryer sheet later. Okay, thank you. Oh, my Today's God. tips from Heloise. <laughs> Heloise. Remember Heloise? I do remember Heloise. Yeah. Hmm. Do you ever, um, remember the, um, in the help when Scooter was writing the tips in the column for the yeah. paper? And she's like, do you have any tips about making your eyes not water when you're peeling onions? And hmm. her friend's like, you put a match in your mouth oh and she's like by the way david loves the help the help it's like his favorite movie yeah um and then she's like well do you light it and she's like no but why would that why would the match is it is it because your mouth's closed i mean your mouth i've heard chewing gum also helps really i don't know why um they sell like these onion goggles that you can wear (laughs) um but there's a very easy way to um not cry when you're cutting onions have someone else do it um no have someone who wears contacts do it really yeah the uh, contacts will stop you from crying when cutting on kind of oh, cutting wow. onions okay yeah well actually um or minimize it what a great great segue to my topic this week this week oh. well i had one more tip for onions oh, you don't want to hear it yeah i, do I think hear it. i don't really know it that's oh. true i think you like soak it in water you soak the onion in water for like a oh. half an hour and it takes all like the onion mace out of it what if you suck it in vodka? What would happen? Oh, and lovely martini. <laughs> if I burn your eyes out. <laughs> well, speaking of eyes. Okay. I was going to do my topic on like, because I had a surgery recently and, I, and they knocked me out and I had some funny stories about anesthesia, but you're right. It is too close to the sleeping episode where you okay. were like afraid to go to sleep because of the control issues. So I, I thought I would do something a little more extreme. So I love that animated movie, by the way. She was like my favorite princess, Anesthesia. Anastasia. Oh. <laughs> and I, was I actually so do really love that I, movie. I could use the word first set again. It's <sighs> first set. But, uh, One day you'll get it get, right. They gave it to me. It was so good. Um, so I have this weird... Okay, so here's my topic. I have this really weird fear um, when I put eye drops in my eyes that I'm going to go blind. Okay. Isn't that so weird? Yeah. And I'm convinced that I've grabbed the wrong... Uh, tube that I'm either putting like eardrops in my eyes or some other chemical in my eyes. Okay. And so I read the th- I read the label like five times to make sure it says eye. Yeah. And uh, and even when I put the drops in, I like I'm convinced I'm gonna go blind. I don't I don't know why. It's the weirdest thing. It's that weirdest is thing. weird. So listen, I had a big trouble with when I had to have eye drops in when I was a kid. Like I had to have them done. And I actually like my mother would have to like hold me down over the sink and put them in because I was so terrified of anything going near my eyes that she actually did it once and I I like got so upset that I threw her backwards and threw my mother on the ground (laughs) yeah she was like in her 30s when it happened so she was fine poor Nancy I know my god so I you know I did a whole episode on eyes and contacts and they're a major source of problem but I know some eye drop facts Really, I really do. But go ahead. You want well, to talk so more. I was so I was doing some research, right? And I, I, I may have googled like you know how many people actually go blind from putting eardrops in their eyes, which came right up as a question. By the way, yeah, you don't and, ever put eardrops in your eyes. Some what? eye drops it doesn't cause blindness. Instead, it probably just ir- irritates Correct. you. Some eardrops, eye drops can go in ears, but eardrops should never go in your eyes. eyes, and that it's... has to do with isotonicity. Oh, I did read that about that. That means like the. The, basically the the saline concentration of it oh my god can, can we're I... getting real nerdy on this episode <laughs> oh, my oh my god just say saline um so i did some more research guess what the number one preventable reason for blindness around the world is masturbation close <laughs> uh viagra well in the in the same kind of realm okay chlamydia oh right yeah babies get it mm-hmm. yeah yeah because their eyes go past the the yep. Uh, infected yep. 
places. And they don't know they have it. And then by the time they figure it out, it's too late and you're, you're blind. Yeah. Awesome, right? Plus those super promiscuous babies. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> 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 I could go to some dark places right now, but I'm not going to. Oh, my God. Kevin. Going through the nursery, just, yeah. you know. Trip Lance. <laughs> yeah, I, that is. Um, yeah, yeah but you can go blind from Viagra. That's You can. You, you scared the crap out when you told me that. So um, You cannot go blind from masturbation. masturbation. Well. Mom. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Oh, my God. Did I just read somewhere that Ted Cruz thinks there's no, you, you have no human right or constitutional right to masturbate? What? He said, yes, this is exactly what he said. Unless it was like one of those like fake memes that people kind of attach to. And he said, but I can see him saying this, that you have no right to pleasure your genitals for any other reason than procreation. Well, his wife probably sees his face and is like, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and wasn't he the one who got caught with some porn, some porn video on his Twitter account? I don't Ugh, know. Oh, my God. Ugh, he looks I like hate- a thumb. A thumb. Yeah, he looks like the human equivalent that. of a thumb. I can't stand him, but um, sorry for any listeners who are fans of his. But um, well, other reasons you can go blind. Um, I mean, obviously, the going blind in general is terrifying. Uh, yeah, like macular degeneration, um, uh, uh, cataracts, or just like waking up and you're blind for no reason. What? That's gonna happen. Does that happen? I don't know. Oh my god. Um, I was so afraid of going blind when I was a kid and we were in the eclipse came around and we had those weird little cutout things. I, w- I wouldn't even go to school. I was so scared. Okay. I was so scared. My teacher's like, why, are you, why aren't you enjoying the eclipse? I go, I don't want to see the eclipse. I don't want to go blind. And, uh, and I was like super convinced I was going to go blind watching the eclipse. Even this, even like you what, can. what happened this past year. I mean, that's a thing. I was like, I stayed in the house with the blinds pulled. I was like, nope. I'm not even going to get the remote chance of looking up at the sky. Hmm. I was told if you sat too close to the TV, you'd go blind as a kid. Is that, you, can get, you can get cataracts, right? I don't, know. Oh, I don't know. I'm not an eye doctor. What is a cataract? It's like a 2D. So you get like, it's like a film. film. I don't know what it's made of. And they just burn it off or something? Or Here's the off? thing. I know very little about stuff that has to be fixed through surgery, just stuff with oof, medicine. Oof. Mm. There is an eye drop called Zalatan, brand name, trademark, <laughs> that... Um, is for um, eye problems. I believe it's for glaucoma. And if you use it and you have blue eyes, it can change your blue eyes brown permanently. What? Yeah. But well, who would s- use it then? Well, I, I mean, people with brown eyes. <laughs> <laughs> and people who didn't weren't so vain that they needed their glaucoma fixed. Wow. Yeah. That's what, what, What's the rationale for that, though? Just I don't know. I don't know the chemistry behind why it does it, but it is a side effect of that drug. But it won't turn your brown eyes blue. No. Isn't but there song? is a... <laughs> it's Crystal Gale. <laughs> yeah. Don't it make your brown eyes blue? She had the long, long hair, right? Yeah. Crystal Gale. How I thought she, get, she was she so beautiful. You, you thought she was? Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Crystal Gale. <laughs> is she alive? I don't know. She has to be. I'm going to Google it right yeah. now. I do recall her though. She had long. She kind of reminded me of Missy, uh, Sissy Spacek for some reason. What color why. are your eyes? They're green, but technically there's only blue and brown. I get it genetically. You're uh, big B, big B, or big B, little B, or little B, little B. Whoa, this is really is a nerdy episode. <laughs> there are um, there. There's like a new surgery now that you can have. Basically, you can turn your eyes blue permanently. Why don't you just wear contact lenses that turn your eyes blue? Uh, they don't look as good. No? I tried it. They look really weird. Yeah. Um. Yeah. She's still alive. Oh yeah. How old she's is she? um. She's sixty-seven. Oh, she's a baby. Hmm. It says also known as brunette Rapunzel. I was like, yeah, because her real. hair was so long. I don't know if she had any other songs, but don't it make my brown eyes blue? I wonder if Locks of Life hit her up. Locks of Life. Oh, Locks of Love. Oh, Locks of Love. Okay. Yeah. She'd have like ten kids covered. <laughs> <laughs> she would. We were being really insensitive. <laughs> really insensitive. That was not insensitive. I was, I was, I was a, a fact. Her hair was so long. Yeah, it was. Um, her, by the way, her greatest hits is called Classic Crystal, which sounds like <laughs> like <a> drugs. drugs. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hmm. T Tina. <laughs> I don't know any of her other songs. Oh no. my god! Talking to- in your sleep. Tootie's right here. Oh my god, she's so cute today. Yep, Tootie is still alive, everyone. <laughs> She's hanging on. <laughs> She'll outlive us. Um, I, I do. Uh, do you have any more eye blindness? Well, facts? I mean, not more facts, but um, but I, you know, when I was googling, you know, the number of people who go blind every year, most of it is age related. 
okay. you know, so it's like degeneration, you know, um, of the eye, glaucoma, cataract. Yeah. But those are all fixable, right? With eye exams and yeah, it can be surgery. It can be. Do you know what bothers me are floaters? Do you have a oh, floater? They drive me bananas because I think it's like an uh, immediately it's a spaceship <laughs> coming to get. Me. Yeah, I always see, you know, obviously you can't really see it unless you have a light backdrop. But I always see it, it drives me nuts. And sometimes they don't even they don't they don't look like round, right? They kind of look like little hairs. Mine looks like the, the static, like, you know, those old movies, you know, when they're like, like an amoeba. Yeah, mm. exactly what it is. And then it's I think so of, I have an eye amoeba. Amoeba. We had the episode. Yeah. Full circle. I know. Um, Pete just got some <clears throat> eye drops because he got diagnosed with dry eye. Hmm. Um, dry eyes. His eyes were always red, always tired, and so they gave him, like, it wasn't restasis, it was something else. Hmm. That's one works for that, too. There's yeah. lots now. Yeah. That was a good story. <laughs> Real <Sorry>. riveting. <laughs> well, we've been holding, we've been um, holding up on the death episode, so we're trying to like fill the, fill the time with like letter-hearted stuff. Did you see the movie Blindness with Julianne Moore? No. All right, I'm gonna let you borrow it. It's it's interesting and real disturbing. What? So basically, everyone else on the planet goes blind except for Julianne Moore. What? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> is, from, it si- is it science fiction? Kind of. It's really disturbing. Why is though. it disturbing though? You'll see. Oh, I don't want to say too much of it. They like form a society. And... Is it not? Is it not suitable for an airplane? Uh no, no. Because gory and sex stuff. Yeah, you can watch it as you're being sucked out of the window <laughs> from the outside <laughs> oh of the plane. God. Oh my god. Sorry, Kevin. not oh making god. fun of that woman. Oh. I laugh at inappropriate things because the world sucks. And you're stressed out. I know. It's like, oh. I ha- I have been super stressed out lately. I really have. I know like, you were. I talked to you the other day um, via text and you were super stressed out. Mm-hmm. There's no reason to be stressed out though. I mean, you can't... There's always a reason to be stressed out. I just There's have to find ways to, to, mi- to mitigate it. Mitigate. mitigate. <laughs> we both have to say it. Mitigate. M-I-T-I-T-E. Yeah, mitigate. Um, yeah, I don't know. Just like, you know, life changes and responsibility changes. It's just, you know, an initial adjustment period. And my mm. first thing is, yeah. Yeah, I've been like super anxious as well. I, I wouldn't say I'm stressed. Out. Well, maybe maybe I am stressed out, but I just I feel very anxious the last couple of days. I almost burst out into tears the other day for no reason. I was like, what the hell? Um, it's yeah. the weirdest feeling. Yep, I get That's it. That's the feeling. Um, but, um, uh, you know, tomorrow's a new day, and this afternoon's a new afternoon. You make the most of it. You know, I have nothing to complain about. I know, know I know. They, um, some uh, famous singer just said that he has anxiety. Um, uh, Avicii, but he died. No. Oh. <laughs> you, what is wrong with you today? He, I, I read an interview uh, that he did a couple of months ago, and he said he he stopped going on tour because the stress of the schedule was giving oh. him super anxiety. Then he turned to like unhealthy behavior to deal with the anxiety, like drinking and drugs, apparently, which now makes sense about maybe how he died. Yeah. Uh, I think it was The weekend or Kendrick Lamar and I don't know the difference between the two of them. I, but who the hell is Kendrick Lamar he won like a he, he won, won a, a Pulitzer, Pulitzer first um, hip hop right. artist that's right for what though a rap song an album I think oh interesting yeah do you yeah. think this will ever win a Pulitzer <laughs> No. Do you have a category for it? What do you have to do? Like, play, save the world? I don't know. No, somebody has to, like, nominate you or something. Somebody get on that. Um, we have friends who can nominate us, right? Yeah. Like, whoever's out there. Who, who, well, <laughs> can Moira do it? Is there, is there a, a, a form? We'll mail it to you. Yeah, right. We'll do anything. Speaking of forms, when's our audition for Amer- uh, for um, Amazing Race? I know. We, we have not. Whoa. Dog, dog is making noises. Oh, Tootie. Tootie might actually die during the episode. Don't say, I was no, just going to say that too. That's Don't do that. No, oh my God. Um, yeah, but Tootie's going blind. Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm, I put eye drops in her eyes. That's, that's ages, ages as well, yeah. or ages of Marie. And she masturbates constantly. <laughs> <laughs> With her front paws or her back paws? <laughs> Both. <laughs> oh, my God. oh, poor thing. She's looking at me like, don't oh, talk oh, about that. Um, so. We will be back with more episodes soon. I said that last time, and it was three months later. <laughs> it was a lie. Well, we you got promoted. Yeah, uh, the weather was dragging us down. Yeah, we all had like events every Vitamin weekend. Vitamin D for sure. Like yeah, sunness. Well, I'm leaving for Florida tomorrow for work, um, Fort Lauderdale, and it's going to be gorgeous there for a conference. Actually, pretty cool. It's like a health. It's like they they're balancing health plus the conference. We have a 5K one day. Ugh. 
they have a CrossFit facility next door. Wow. Yeah. That would be a nightmare. It's like <laughs> work and have to work out. Aren't you going to work out when you're in Mexico? No. Oh. I'm okay. going to have like an ice cream sundae bar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would be great at a work conference, right? Ice cream Sunday bar or like oh, no, maybe they have a little fire pit and you make s'mores and tell ghost stories. I hate s'mores. Really? I hate marshmallow. Oh, I love marshmallow. Only toasted though. And or oh, in the fluff. Worse. Like a fluffer nutter. It's even I like marshmallow, like a peanut butter and jelly or you know, but I hate marshmallows. Oh, wait. You like <laughs> that makes no <laughs> sense. You like marshmallow like it's a peanut butter and jelly. It's spreadable. It's oh more sugary. You look like the fluff. Yes. Yeah. I can't stand the actual like those you know like those cylinder you know, gelatiny. Things. Oh my god! And then the, the uh, powdery crap on the outside, and then it's even worse when you toast them. Oh my god! It's the worst That's the thing. only way I like them toasted. Oh. I actually don't like the texture of a marshmallow. It's giving me. It's a little too close to styrofoam for yeah. me. <sighs> yeah. No way. Did you ever play Chubby Bunny, where you have to jam as many <laughs> marshmallows in your mouth and say Chubby Bunny? <laughs> no. Ah, it's a good time. Do you have any marshmallows here? We should try it. I don't. Okay. I've <laughs> never done that before. I don't. Oh we used to do that game, though, where you pretend your face got, shut, got you know, caught into like, like, um, like an elevator or like a bus door. What? And you go, chubby was a, uh, chubby wubby was a, was um, it? Chubby wubby was a bear. For, yeah, I don't chubby wubby had no hair. Yeah. That's fuzzy wuzzy, I think. Okay. <laughs> Let's also call bullshit on Lucky Charms. The, those things are not marshmallows. I don't know what the fuck they are. It's just like condensed powdered sugar yeah yeah is, is that what a marshmallow is i love lucky charms though Ugh. what's your favorite uh, you, i've already asked this question cinnamon are, life fruity pebbles that's right i'm a fruity pebbles and cinnamon life person too i love cinnamon life mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. good mm-hmm. what about um captain crunch though cuts the roof of your mouth still delicious i've had captain crunch coated chicken and it blew my mind really mm. oh mm-hmm. huh. no berries or berries Berries. What are they called? Crunch berries? <laughs> I like the berries. The peanut butter one's not that good, though. No. Jesse yeah. has to pick the crunch berries out. <clears throat> you like them, really? Yeah. So if you're feeling anxious today, have a bowl of your favorite cereal. Do you know my least favorite sugar you deserve cereal is? It. Tricks. Um, yeah. They, I wish There's each... No flavor. I wish each color tasted like the fruit that it's supposed to be, which yeah. might be gross. There's only one flavor. It's like... There's like... Yeah. yeah. Like fruity pebbles. And those you kids are such assholes. Give the rabbit some cereal. <laughs> Why is it always a rabbit? It's not always a rabbit. Oh. Sometimes it's a tiger, bird, tiger, or chicken. a leprechaun. It's only mm. a rabbit with tricks. No, it's that. Yeah. No, it can't be. Silly. What is it? Silly rabbit tricks are for kids. kids. But yeah. you can probably have it if you're an adult. Um, I bet you more adults eat sugar cereals than kids do. I'd be like, I paid for it, you damn kids. Get a job. <laughs> never Smurf Berry Tricks Crunch. Tricks are for taxpayers. <laughs> never, never Smurf Berry Crunch. I used to love that. Oh, yeah, that was good. So good. I love all those. Like a good marketed cereal, like Mr. T's. I loved that. C3PO's. Oh, I remember that one. Yeah. They still, they still make Booberry? Yeah, it comes out on Halloween. Oh, not not all year it's round. It's real good though. I love blueberry. It's just like blue Lucky Charms. But does Count Dracula only come around on Halloween Chocula. too? Chocula. Yeah. You said Dracula. Oh, sorry. Frankenberry. Count, Count Chocula. Yeah. yeah. And then there's fruit, Yummy Mummy, and Fruit Brute. All... Those are the two that got like discontinued. Oh, okay. Yeah, but they they roll around around Halloween. Well, I'm glad we're talking about blindness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right, I think the dog's going to pee on the couch, so on that note... Okay, well, um, our slogan, though... Don't pee on the couch. (laughs) Get some umbrella. (laughs) Don't eat cereal that you don't like. That's not the saying. Don't go blind. Oh, Siri just liked that when I said cereal. I'm deflecting to you because I forgot what our our saying is. Uh, Don't forget. Life is crazy. You don't have to be. Yay! All right, peace out. I really want cereal now. (laughs) Do you have any cereal here? I do. (laughs) Almond milk. (laughs) Oh, try to kill me? Oh, yes. (laughs) 